So literally, we used 10 oxygen and 5 ionized cobalt, and we made 30 ionized cobalt. So just out of 5 ionized cobalt, we got 30. Look at that. Holy crap. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today I'm going to show you three amazing recipes that you can put in a refiner and make millions of dollars super fast. This is going to be really easy. Now, you're going to want to pair this with the other video I just made, the uh, economy crashing video. If you haven't seen that, link up top and down below in the description. But if you're going to crash the economy and use this, you can make tons and tons of money. So what you're going to need is a large or a medium refiner. You're going to need at least two inputs. So your your backpack refiner and your uh, portable refiner aren't good enough because you only have one slot. You need at least two. So I always have a large refiner at my base. You can also use a medium refiner if you want to. But I, I'm going to be using a large refiner for this example. So once you start getting items like, hey, if you want to do a, a cobalt crash, economy crash you can make a ton of money that way but you can also make a ton more if you have ionized cobalt ionized cobalt is worth a lot more but it's harder to find at space station so why not make your own so we're gonna do that first so let me show you the the basics of this anytime you put in different items in here you have your input and then your output on the other side it shows you what you're gonna make so let's say if we have our regular cobalt Regular cobalt is pretty expensive on its own. Actually, let's let's look at what it's worth first. Uh, our regular cobalt is worth $198 per unit. So for every one co cobalt you have, it's $198. But if you have ionized cobalt, it'll it's worth 401 bucks per unit. So every one ionized cobalt is 401. So that's more than double the price. So, how do we get that efficiently? So, what you would normally do is you put your one cobalt in there and you can make ionized cobalt. That's pretty straightforward, right? And if you don't know how to read these menus right here, this says, right next to the cobalt, it says two to one. So it takes two of these regular cobalts to make one ionized cobalt. So that's not really efficient. It takes two of them to make one anyway, so you're only making like two bucks on top of it for profit. But there are other ways to do this. So. If you didn't know, once you add oxygen to the mix, and you should always try to add oxygen to all of your mixtures because you're going to see some amazing results. But if you put oxygen in here, all of a sudden it changes. Now we can use two oxygen and two cobalt, and we'll make five ionized cobalt. So we're actually making 1.25, I believe. So we're actually almost, we're a little over one to one. So it takes two oxygen, two cobalt, and we make five ionized cobalt, which is really good. So you're already making more than you had. So actually, you know what? Oop. Let's go back into this menu real quick. I want to show you guys the, the really small version of this. So we put in 10 and 10. So we have 10 of each, right? So let's get this thing going. So we had 10 of each. We made 25 ionized cobalt. Now, if I had 10 regular cobalt, I'd only be able to make 5 ionized cobalt. So, yeah, we literally made 2.5 out of what we had. So, it's it's actually 2.5, not 1.25. My math is wrong because I'm not a math scientist, as you can tell. But, yeah, we made 2.5 ionized cobalt. But, you know what the better thing to do is, if you already have ionized cobalt, let's take our 25 ionized cobalt. And let's just say we had a little bit of oxygen. We only had 10 oxygen, all right? We just have a little bit. Look at that. The numbers actually increase when you use a, a more efficient element. Look at this. We have 1 to 6 and then 2 to 6. So actually, let's do 10 and 10 just to make the math easy for me because I'm kind of dumb. Okay, so it takes 2 oxygen and 1 ionized cobalt, and we make 6 ionized cobalt. It's called efficient cobalt ionization. And so if we just do this real fast. So literally, we use 10 uh, oxygen and 5 ionized cobalt. And we made 30 ionized cobalt. So just out of 5 ionized cobalt, we got 30. Look at that. Holy crap. That is insane. 
But it gets even better than that because you don't have to just use it for cobalt. There's actually other elements you could do because chlorine is way more uh, more beneficial to sell. You, you make more money off of chlorine. But in order to get chlorine, you have to use so salt to do that. So again, just like before, it takes two salt to make one chlorine. But we can use our oxygen, trusty oxygen, to do this. And now we make two, or we make five, so it makes two, it takes two, good lord, I can't even speak, I'm so excited, you guys. It takes two of each to make five, so let's do this again. So we just did ten, and we got twenty-five out of it, so that's two point five again. That's crazy, right? Well, let's do it this way, let's put the chlorine in there, and we'll do the same thing as before, we'll put our oxygen in there. Again, it's the same thing as the ionized cobalt, look at this. Chlorine, 1 to 6. Oxygen, 2 to 6. So actually, let's put 20 oxygen in there. And just 10 chlorine in there. So 10 and 20. That's 30 items right there. We get 60 chlorine as soon as it finishes. Okay, look, 60. 60 chlorine out of 10. We just almost 6 times. So we'll say 3 because we used a little bit more oxygen. And so the biggest thing is go buy oxygen. It, you can make oxygen, you can you can put down uh, chambers to collect oxygen. Do that. Oxygen is the most valuable resource in No Man's Sky. Uh, for many reasons. You can refill your life support, all the things like that. But you can make tons and tons of money doing that. And so look at that, that is insane. But I'm not even done yet. Did you know that silver and gold actually turn into platinum look at that so if you can you can go to any space station and buy a lot of gold and silver they always have a lot somewhere you know someone will fly in with it but it takes one to one so one silver one gold equals one platinum so that's what you could do but the other the other thing you want platinum for is this platinum turns into nanite clusters and it takes 35 platinum to make one nanite cluster, so you need a ton of platinum. But, you can actually make that a little bit more efficient if you use gold and silver. So look at you can use all three. This is why you want a large refiner. All three, you could actually cut down the price in half, you know, cut down the price. So instead of 35, it's 25. And because platinum is more rare, it's going to be harder to find a lot of that, unless you're making it on your own. And of course, you can buy platinum. You can probably find it on some space stations, but it's a rare item. You're, you're going to find it sometimes, but not always. So if you find it at a space station, remember where that thing is, because it is going to be a gold mine or a nanite mine, to be more specific. But yeah, it's so dude, look at that. You don't even have to have gold and silver if you don't want to. You can put that away and just use your platinum in order to do that. But yeah, you get nanites out of platinum. That's crazy. But seriously, and if you're going to do chlorine, salt... Just for comparison, is two ninety nine per unit, so you get three hundred bucks per unit, which is better than cobalt. And so, if you, you know, but it's harder to find at a space station. Cobalt's everywhere, but chlorine is six hundred and two per unit, and so that's way better than ionized cobalt, which is four hundred and one. So it's almost two hundred more per unit, and you could do the same trick. Remember, oxygen is your best friend. Use oxygen. It is insane. And always, you know, check the uh, No Man's Sky Coordinates Exchange, the NMS Coordinates Exchange. They do a lot of these recipes. Go check the, the No Man's Sky official uh, of Reddits, too, for that, because holy cow. The recipes you can make in these things are awesome, and I feel like a lot of people, they neglect the refiner. They think, ah, refiner's not for me. I don't care about the refiner. The refiner can make you a ton of money early on. And remember, you you have to go to the Space Anomaly in order to buy the blueprint to create your refiner, okay? So go to the Space Anomaly, get your large refiner, plant that thing because it doesn't take anything to fuel. It runs off electricity, so as long as it's powered, you're good to go. That's why I put it in this uh, square room. That way it's always powered. And because I have my, my battery and my solar panels up there, we're good to go. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, hit that like button for me, and if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos all the time, and I'll see you guys next time.